Hi friends, uh, it's nice to be back. I thought that I would do a very quick video about last minute Christmas cards. I am terrible. I always wait till the very last minute before I get my act together. Um, so I wanted also to share a technique which um, even though I'm sharing this video very late in the Christmas season, you can still use this technique for all of your cards whether it's Christmas or not. Also one of my lovely subscribers Jane asked especially if she could um, have a video with some quick cards for Christmas. Now um, as I say I've taken a while to get my act together and I'm not so sure how quick this technique is but um, I find it really interesting and I hope you will too. So first of all as usual we're starting off with uh, some of the materials that we'll need. Um, I'm using again the Spectrum Noir watercolour uh, pad and for these cards what I've done is I've taken one of the sheets um, now it has 9 by 12 that's how that's inches that's how uh, large they are and what I've done is I've cut lengthways I've cut them in half and the hope is to get six cards from one sheet so that's how you you start off other things that you'll need for this um, will be uh, watercolours, just your favourite watercolours. I have the Jane Davenport little um, colourful pan which I do love and it's very well, well loved as you can see. So uh, just get out whatever watercolours you have. Um, also some salt. Now this is a combination of ordinary salt along with salt flakes and rock salt. It's a whole mixture but uh, any um, type of salt will do for this technique. Uh, also obviously you'll need a spray for water and uh, water for the paints. Uh, I'm using a very large uh, square type brush. This is a I've just an easy flat it's called, it doesn't have a size. Um, I'm also going to use this wonderful little pen and you can blame Eileen Goodwin for this. She made me buy it uh, by watching her videos which are very very good. This is a Uniball Signo uh, glitter pen and it's in silver and I've got I've got this in lots of different colours and it really is fabulous. It's the same brand as the white gel pen that I use so really would recommend you check these out. Um, I'm also going to use some Wow embossing powder. Uh, this one is White Twinkle. Uh, some Versamark ink. A couple of other uh, just blue ink pads. I'm using the Versafine Claire again. Uh, probably in Twilight or Bluebell. I haven't decided yet. Now for some stamps. Um, I thought I would use the Fir Tree one again. These aren't Lavinia stamps but they're just uh, snowflakes and any snowflakes from your stash would do. I've taken out this little dream stamp which is, is good. Also I may use the new little tree uh, uh, house set so I've got that out just in case. So that's pretty much it to start off with the materials and let's just get into the actual technique. Okay so taking the first strip of watercolour card I'm going to add water across the card and just get it all nice and, and wet and uh, this technique is really uh, not at all new, it's the wet on wet technique that watercolour artists use. So get it all nice and damp. And then I have my paints here and I'm going to just dip very, uh, I'm going to dip the brush into two colours of blue 
and just sweep that across the top of the card. I'm not being very particular about this at all, just letting it soak into the, the damp card. Just sweeping that across, maybe lift up a little bit of purple as well. Just mush that into the what will be sort of a, a sky. Make sure it's all nice and damp. Now I want to leave the center fairly uh, neutral and with very little color. So I'll move to the bottom of the page and I'm going to take um, a darker blue and purple and I'm going to sweep that across the bottom. Just very no real skill involved, just large sweeps. I'm also going to dip my brush into some red. I'm just going to lightly dab here and there some red. I'll actually zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. Uh, and work fairly quickly, just little swooshes of colour to the bottom and go over with some darker blue again, keeping the page nice and damp. Um, and I'm also going to lift up some green, green and sort of turquoisey um, blue and sweep that into the bottom as well it may give the impression of some type of land whether it be trees or bushes or just general uh, fuzzy background really it's uh, not anything too careful I think that should probably do for for the colour. Just let, let that all soak in. And I'm just taking the paint off my brush and I'm just sweeping across the centre to blend, blend that out a little bit and make sure that it's nice and damp. Just plain water. So you can see the centre is quite um, free of colour. I'm going to add a little bit more colour just to the top of the sky, darken it out a little bit. Nothing too, nothing too strong. Maybe a little bit of purple. Oh, that was too much. Right, sweep that out just like that. And that should do really. And uh, as soon as you've you're happy with the general colours that are laid down. Just pop a wee bit. I'm never, I'm always fussing about. Don't be like me, don't fuss. <laughs> move on. It's time to move on, Lisa, move on. Yes, okay. So, taking the salt, um, you can see mine's not even very clean. Um, immediately just push, drop it into the paint. Um, again, no rhyme, no reason to this. Drop it all across the picture. And there's, it can be a mixture of different textures of salt, it doesn't really matter. And just let uh, the salt then soak up the water and the paint. So that's it for the just zoom in a little bit more so you can see that the salt has just been dropped onto the colour and we want to then leave that overnight to dry. Okay so my page is wet again and I'm going to try another one and this time I'm going to try to darken it up a little bit.
so uh, it's really very interesting isn't it and it provides a lovely backdrop to some very basic stamping um, I've also got another piece that uh, wasn't quite as successful but I still uh, really liked it because it, it created an interesting background. I've chopped a piece off and created a little card with it which I'll show you in a while but this is an example of uh, putting the salt on when there wasn't enough water soaked into the card and it meant that it didn't crystallize just as much as the others but it's still a nice effect and you can uh, experiment with uh, different uh, levels of moisture and also different types of salt so I'm going to take these away and I'm going to cut them down and we'll create something with them